Hi, everybody. Welcome to Focus Friday. And today I want to riff on a new word I learned this week, which is doom scrolling. Since we're all doing it, I thought I'd talk about it. So everybody that's been asking me about anxiety, lack of sleep, hair triggers, no concentration, you know, all the things we're all experiencing. Doom scrolling is helping that along. It's not taking you away from it. So doom scrolling is what happens. There's a combination of things that cause it. One is that when we're in a threatening environment, our unconscious mind actively starts to seek more information on the threat. And the more information we seek, the more addicted we get to looking for that information. So we're all in this mode where we're looking for more information about the horrors, right? The horrors. Oh my God, we're looking for more information. Now, we're doing that on digital screens. And the challenge is that digital screens are designed in their pixel refresh rates so that in four to five seconds, you're actually in a light hypnotic trance. I'm a trainer hypnosis, so I can, I, trust me, that's true. And what happens is you're on this digital screen, whether it be a computer or your phone or whatever, you're, so you're getting into a hypnotic, stretch, a hypnotic state. Your mind is actively seeking negative information, so it's scrolling, 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 and now you're imprinting into your mind hypnotically and in a trance, like trance, where you're very highly suggestible, even more of the negative horror that is our news today. That is not healthy, all right? That combination is not healthy. And if you wonder why, you know, we're all more depressed and all the things were happening, a lot of it's because of that, all right? So we're spending more time reading news sites than ever before, you know, even as the news media is making sensational headlines, making them more and more sensational to get above the noise that is rising. So here we are being shocked into fear and threat by these headlines, diving into them on a digital screen where we're being hypnotically imprinted. And have you noticed how you get depressed the more you watch, new, read the news or stay on Facebook and God forbid, scroll through your stream in the comments? You know, even if you read a variety of news sources, it's still depressing, right? Now, I did a little experiment this week, and I paid attention to how I felt when I woke up first thing in the morning, and then I, how I felt after 10 to 15 minutes scrolling through Facebook and skimming my, my news channels. Interestingly enough, my blood pressure went up 15 points <laughs> in that amount of time. My heart rate went up by 10 and well, my ability and my need, rising need to hit something was off the scale. And that was at 6 a.m. in the morning, which sets the, sets the tone for your day. That is not good, no matter how you look at it. That is not going to help your mental wellness, mindfulness, health, or well-being. So I created a new set of rules for myself. And I'm going to share those with you as some suggestions. But before I do that, I want to remind you what you pay attention to defines what your unconscious mind thinks you want to experience in the world. Your attention creates expectations and your expectations become what you experience because your unconscious mind is filtering your reality and selecting what you will experience every second of every day. It gives that experience to your conscious mind. So that begs the question, you know, if you know that what you're paying attention to is what you're going to experience, is what you're reading out there really what you want to experience in your life right now? As curious and addictive as we all may be, I just think the answer is no, because that is not what we want to experience. I don't know about you, but I want peace, harmony. I want to be focused on my future goals and what we're going to do beyond this and how I'm going to get past this. Not reading the constantly more and more bottom feeder comments, news, posts, you name it. And I'm not saying there's not great stuff out there. I'm just saying the ugly stuff, right? So here's what I'm doing to take control, all right? First of all, I'm deciding when I want to be online, and that's the only time I'm online. And I know we all say we do that, but you know what? It's really hard to do. Don't cheat. Set your times and stick with them. Now, the second thing I'm doing is I'm pairing back my stream in Facebook. I'm also pairing back my news media channels so that they are only the middle-of-the-road channels. Associated Press, Reuters, Bloomberg, BBC, Offshore, Al Jazeera, you know, the offshore media and the, the core news media that's balanced, not left or right. I am not reading the left or right anymore because it's nothing but propaganda. All right. So first of all, that's on the news. Now on my stream, you know, we're all starting to talk about blocking people. I block and unfollow, but here's the other trick. You have a real, I have a really good friend that posts stuff that just makes me want to just die. 
I unfollow the stuff that gets posted. I don't unfollow her. I unfollow the authors of the evil stuff. That cleans up your stream. But let me tell you something. If you are seeing things in your stream that makes your blood boil, you need to change your stream. Because all you're doing is rising, rising, rising the angst in you, which gets your unconscious mind more in threat mode, which means it makes less Roger. It holds you into this constant flow of seeking more threatening information. And you are stuck in a cycle of threat response that is never going to make you happy. And you're sure not going to be creating great experiences. All right. Now, stop reading the comments on Facebook. That's another thing I did because the comments are... You don't know if it's a troll or some stranger or who it is, but I guarantee you the comments are not helpful. It only hurts you when you keep, when you engage. So keep on scrolling, right? This one's the hardest one for me because I want to comment and, and you know what? Worst case, I write the comment and I delete it. It still gets my blood boiling, which means it's not a really good answer. But, you know, you got to stop the comments and stop engaging in the insanity. And the other thing is spend more time in the real world, even if it's on your own. You know, I live alone and I've been pretty much on my own since we started this. You can read, you can write, you can ponder, you sit at a wall, learn a language. There's so many things to do that are not a, a, being addicted into this doom scrolling. Whatever it takes, get off those digital screens more than you're on them, right? You can, you, there's so many things to do. Now, Here's the question I asked myself, and I learned that the answer was not what I expected. Do you believe you have to fix the folks who have different opinions? Well, that my answer was yet. As much as we don't, I, I truly believe I have a right to have my opinion and you have yours. I don't believe you have a right to force your opinion on me. But what I realized was I was getting righteously indignant about the opinions, and I had to go set them straight. Not my job. Not your job either. My job is to keep myself and my spirit focused on what I want, same as yours is. And it's nearly impossible to do and be focused on you when you're fighting with someone who doesn't see your way or your point of view, and it's just escalating. So stop it, right? I know we're all supposed to share. Share happy things and stop trying to fix the world, all right? Now, I stopped doom scrolling about 10 days ago, and let me tell you the difference. It's amazing. I'm not angry first thing in the morning, which sets the tone for my day. I'm not angry. I don't have that negative self-chatter and angry chatter, and I'm going to, I'll do this, and I'll fix him, and I should tell him this, blah, blah, blah. That's all gone, which means I have a peaceful mind. I'm focused much more intently on my own health and my life, not what's around me in the world. I am controlling my world, not the world controlling me. I'm relaxed. I'm sleeping like a log. I no longer feel overwhelmed. And I know that I'm creating my own reality, not a reality that's being served to me by politicians on either side, foreign governments, whoever they are, media of all flavors, and just plain opinionated people who may or may not have a clue what they're talking about. So try some of this. Get out of the doom scrolling. Try it for a while and then let me know what you're experiencing because I always want to know what happens in your world. All right. And remember, above all, pay attention to your attention. All right. Have a great day.